7 o'clock-ish. Girls have come to the horses. We had friends stay over last night, so they've gone over to do the horses this morning so that we can have a bit of a lie-in and check over the cars. So, we are going to go check over the cars, make sure the fluids are alright, and hit the road. What time are we going? Quarter to eight. Um, I'm not too eight. sure. We're meeting them there at the... We're going to go to Conway Falls Cafe and meet everyone at nine o'clock. Uh, so yeah, let's make a move. We're pretty much ready to rock and roll. So we're, we're in the 80, obviously, me and Kay. Got Reese and Amy in their 90. And the Freelanders on the drive. If you don't follow these guys, they're called the Welsh Land Rovers, or the Welsh Land Rover couple, I can't remember. I'll put it down in the screen somewhere. But anyway, it's gonna be clear as hell. It looks like a properly nice day today. I'm so fucking excited. So yeah, we're gonna get going. Get the dog in the car and hit the road. Look at this. Okay, so update. We are now going to Castle Lane. We split into groups because there's 15 trucks, 14 trucks. So I've taken seven and the other group's gonna follow probably be about half an hour behind because they've just ordered breakfast. But we've been in there now for an hour, so yeah, we're heading out and we've got well, we got two defenders, a Discovery 1, Discovery 4, a van, see how the van does, and a Jeep Rubicon, which is probably going to show us all that. So when we get to the lane, we'll bring you back. that we're missing the Discovery 4. I hope I haven't left it. If I have, sorry Johnny. He might be eating breakfast with everyone. But here we are, the gang guys. So we're gonna do this lane. This is Castle Lane. Go all the way over to the castle. Say hello. Hi. And uh, we'll probably end up stopping at the castle so we can all go out and have a bit of a, a bit of a wee. Well, the dogs at least. So let's uh, let's carry on. It's absolutely stunning out here. I bloody love it when it's like this. Although I hate the cold. Anybody that knows me will know that I am a sucker for warm sunny days, not cold sunny days. But anyway, here's the lineup.
Okay, last gate. Last gate. Whenever you come green and in Wales, you've got to love gates. motion. Check it out. Yeah. Easy. I start to give I start to give you a pull but you need it. <laughs> So now it's just a hill descent down to the castle. Uh, I think we're going to stop at the castle, but first of all, we've got to get down here. I fell in my old terrain, Welly. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going up there. I don't actually know what this castle is here for. It's called Dolwood Ellen Castle. I'm sure somebody will be able to tell me uh, why, why it's actually here and what it's used for. I believe you can go in. We'll go and have a quick look. Everyone's coming out. It's a bit icy. But the views are amazing. From up here. Even better when you get even higher, obviously. So let's go have a look. Oh God, slippy. All right, so it looks like it was privately owned. It's Victoria owner, Lord Willoughby de Respery. Pretty cool. And you can indeed go in. The door is open. Let's go have a quick look. Oh, it's been... I don't suppose we're supposed to be in here. It's been locked. It's all open. So I won't stay in here for too long. Because I guess we're not supposed to be in. Somebody's broken the lock. So we'll just shut that. Alright. Let's go in. Oh, 
The other group were starting to catch us up because we kept stopping for photos and videos, so it's time to move on. So it's a bit icy, so he's slipping everywhere. So the other group caught us up, so they've held back at the castle and we've carried on. Uh, we are heading to a lane called Boulder Lane. We're going to go down it, it's voluntary down. I think the glass have, have put it in place. So we're just driving through the forestry track now to get to it and I think the other guys are going to be around 10 minutes behind us. Then we're going to meet up at Swallow Falls Hotel Car Park and, uh, and go from there. We're going to go down a track, a road basically, um, in the forestry somewhere and stop and have a coffee or a tea or food or whatever everyone wants to do. Uh, and we'll probably end the day there I think and then we'll all head our own separate ways. I think some guys are going camping again. Um, a lot of guys have travelled from far and wide, like London and all sorts, so uh, we've got, all got a bit of a drive home. So uh, yeah, when we get back on the lane, we'll do a bit more video into the outsides and we'll, we'll catch you up there. If you open it, shut it. Now I wonder if he's going to make me walk all the way back amongst all the... Oh look, they're leaving me! What? Oh, I'll just record Jay, shall I? Whoop whoop! I'll just record him as he's... Don't you dare splash me! <laughs> <laughs> Do me own off roading, which is absolutely fine. It's got my wellies on. Not doing very good at recording. I'm supposed to be recording cars here, and I'm not. Look where you're going, Kay.
doing? That was like a good little track then. <laughs> just got nothing. You don't, the worst of it is when you're videoing, it doesn't always relate to camera. This feeling like it's starting now, starting now. I feel adventurous with you, and there is nothing that can hold us back, hold us back. We can do what we want to do, cause we got all the time in the world for better or worse. We should stay together, so let's stay young and in love. We should focus on us forever. All right, so that's the picturesque part of Boulder Lane over and done with. Now the challenging downhill sections. We pretty much all made it down here unscathed. We did hit some bikers on the way up, which got in the way a little. Um, but overall, straight down, no problems. Just a bit of a challenge and some axle twisters. So there's two bits that I really wanted to capture here. One was the Rubicon coming down and the next part when the van comes down. But as you can see the bikers stopped here, couldn't really get out of the way, had nowhere else to go. They were a bit shocked that we were filming. This is a voluntary downhill one way system but obviously they either don't know or they don't care. I don't know which one it is but we had fun either way.
15 points. Lost time. Oh, going over all these boulders. Hey, what's the lane called? Boulder Lane. Why is it called Boulder Lane? Because there's boulders on it. There's a boulders. That's a nice boulder. <laughs> I like that boulder. <laughs> oh, I've taken a proper dodgy line here. A big boulder just here on the right. I had to get rid of it because it was ruining the, the rest of the track down the side. This is a bit of a shame. I think that's when they made it one way as well, so you can only come down unless you're on a moped. Apparently, not a moped, is it? What's it called? A crosser. A crosser. On a moped on the boulder lane. Try on a moped. My camera skills are awful going down here. It is a bit jumpy. Not your camera skills, I mean like the actual lane. photos of the wild beast. The car, not Reese, obviously. The best. Good. The best. Is this the lane where we were so, on the ice? No. No. No, I don't want to go back there. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. Cool. Well, it wasn't as bad as one. I do want a button. Yes, buttons. Woo! <laughs> Make sure you save me some. No, Steve, you've got the whole fucking bag of whispers. <laughs> yeah, it's my best boy. It's my best boy. Did you get bounced around a lot? I'm going to go to Swallow Falls and wait for everyone that. In case the uh, Bobble Up Brigaders they've Would been named. Like I'd love a button. Where did you find it? In the bag. Mm. In case the... You can't say Bobble Up Brigade on here. Why not? <laughs> In case I die from this burn <laughs> that Amy's given me. Nice knowing you It's alright, I've had one. Family. Romeo.
You open it. Close it. All right. Pretty much lane's over with, but we've got one more to do. So we're going to go up, stop for a brew up there. Kai wants to get out and play with Jess. Go on then. Go find her. Where's Jess? Um, God, that's not shit. So yeah, we're going to go and do the last lane and then probably have a coffee up there and a catch up. But cruisers handle great. Uh, suspension's been all right. It's a bit big for the lanes, if I'm honest, so it is quite scratched now, but it's one of them things that's part of having a four wheel drive, I guess. Uh, so we're just waiting for the others. They should be along pretty much soon. They weren't too far behind us in the end. They actually caught us up because we're videoing, obviously, and taking photos. And uh, So yeah, it'll be another 10 minutes, no, another five minutes. They'll be here and we're just going to hit the road pretty much straight away. The girls have just gone to the loo and I'm guessing some of the other lads will want to go to the loo as well whilst we're here. Uh, and then we'll head up to the next lane, which is pretty picturesque when we park there. We'll probably end up just driving straight up there on our video again when we actually stop. Nope, I thought they were here, but they're not. But the light's dimming. Um, it is 20 past one now. So we've been out pretty much all day. It's been, it's been really good. I'm a bit jealous of the Rubicon and the van. Wow, the van is impressive for what it is. Four motion T6, I think it's a T6. Somebody will probably correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's a T6 and it's amazing off-road for what it's done. It's been everywhere we have. Okay, so we're just working out now how we're going to get the cruiser out of here. Essentially, I was driving down the track trying to avoid this big mud puddle on the left. It looked, the, the rut looked quite deep, so I tried to avoid it and we ended up here. So now we're pretty much just talking and working a way to, to get out. I was in low range. Center lock was on, but neither diff locks were engaging. The lights were flashing on the dash. I could hear the relays clicking through, but the actual engagement in the diff itself wasn't happening. So the lads came up with an idea to get me out. So, didn't you do this in your Jeep? chat and pretty much said bye to each other. We then carried on further down the track and got to this point. So here I came down first and then I get out and I guide the 90, the Jeep and the van down. They've never done this lane before but I thought with a bit of guidance it will make their life a little bit easier. None of them had ever come and, uh, been to do this lane before so I thought let's just get them down, make sure the van gets down okay and in fairness as you'll see, they handled everything really, really well.
And this pretty much concludes the day. We're just finishing up on this lane now. So Kay's just driving the truck back down. There's a gate that I thought was not too far down here, but I think it's actually quite far. I can't see it yet, but uh, a big thank you to everyone who came today. It was awesome to meet you all. Uh, really enjoyed your company. And I hope you got home all right, every single one of you. I know some of you had quite a journey to go. Uh, but overall, a really good day. And I think everyone has enjoyed it and enjoyed the lanes that we've we chose to do today. So